In this hour fantasy video, we're going to take a look at the Quantum Cloak, an SR relic that renders your character invisible to enemies and at later levels gives you a damage buff to targets you attack while invisible. In this video, I hope to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it to grind for. If you're new here, please subscribe to this channel for tower fantasy guides, news, info, and gameplay, and turn notifications on because I stream this game pretty much every afternoon, and it would be really cool if you stopped by and said what's up or even joined our growing community. Alright, so firstly, the Quantum Cloak is a relic or extra gadget in Tower of Fantasy that makes you invisible so the enemies cannot attack you. You can unlock it by collecting 20 SR Relic Shards, items that come in two forms. You can get SR Relic Shards from an SR Relic Shard box that will allow you to choose what specific SR Relic Shards you want so you can craft the item, or you can gain the specific Relic Shard of any given item as rewards from the numerous game modes and events throughout your time exploring and playing Tower of Fantasy. When you collect 20 Quantum Cloak Relic Shards, you permanently unlock the Quantum Cloak and can use it whenever you like. Alternately, you can continue to collect Relic Shards for the Quantum Cloak, which will enhance its abilities, making it an even more powerful item. When you first unlock the Quantum Cloak, you have it at base form, which is what you're seeing on screen. At base form, your character will enter the Quantum State or become invisible for 10 seconds. You can either choose to stay invis the entire time, or you can attack a target and get a sneak attack damage. Sneak attack damage is basically where you catch a target off guard and deal more damage than normal. In some cases, it's enough to completely destroy your target without them being able to retaliate. This is useful in world exploration when you see a chest or some other item you want to collect that's being guarded by an enemy that can shield itself. You can pop the cloak and walk right up to it and unleash a powerful attack and deal massive amounts of damage to it before the shield can go up. In some cases, you can even ignore fighting altogether and just collect your item without letting enemies in the area know that you're there, which to me is a really cool aspect of this game that makes me feel like I'm actually playing a role-playing game and not a gotcha game that's out to bleed my bank account dry. At later levels or more stars, the Quantum Cloak becomes insane and might be worth the grind. At the first star, the activation time of the cloak is extended from 10 seconds to 20 seconds, which is actually, to me, really good. At two stars, the cooldown time of this item is reduced from 120 seconds to 80 seconds, which, to me, 80 still feels like 120, but at least the time is reduced. Now, at three stars is where the cloak gets interesting. You get a plus 100% damage bonus in quantum state for one attack which basically means to me that whatever you attack is going to wear it and probably even die in one blow. And then at 4 stars, it increases Volt damage by 1.5%, even if it's on but not activated, which tells me that it was meant for characters like Crow, who specifically has passes for extra damage when he's alone or when sneak attacking, and he uses a, a Volt weapon, his twin a Volt daggers. But it's the final star that they save for the best upgrade. You can stay invisible for up to three attacks, all at plus 100% damage, which is insane to me. Now, if I was watching a video like this and I was new to the game, I want to know if it was actually worth it in the long run to get this item at max stars. And now, I hate to be a negative Nancy here, but I'm going to have to respectfully say no, it might not be worth it in the long run, what with all the other more useful relics out there to get first. Um, is the cloak a cool idea? Absolutely. Is it worth it to at least unlock it? Yeah, sure. But grinding for more stars in a game like Tower of Fantasy might just be a waste of time. But if the devs are just going to constantly keep throwing relic shards at us as rewards, then yeah, go ahead and go for it. I personally like the idea of the invisibility cloak, and I would like to get the fifth star just so I can see for myself what a higher level discharge skill chain would look like in the quantum state with plus 100 damage. I have to assume that it's ridiculous. Now what do you think about the cloak? Are you like me and you think it's a cool idea and totally worth it? Or do you think it's completely pointless? Let me know in the comments. That's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do not forget to leave a like and head over to my channel and check out my other Tower of Fantasy videos. Thank you guys. Peace.